Hugh Shampoo, The Boy Who Would Not Wash His Hair, by Karen George. If you think having your hair washed is horrid, then you should meet Hugh Shampoo. His hair was terribly tangled and very, very grubby, but Hugh didn't care. He would not have his hair washed, brushed, cut, combed, or in any way fussed with. Whenever Hugh's mum and dad tried to wash, brush, cut, or comb his hair, they failed. This upset Mr. and Mrs. Shampoo. After all, they were both hairdressers and the proud owners of Salon Shampoo, the place to come for tidy trims or fabulous curls. Teacups tinkled, hair dryers hummed, and friends chatted, while Meister and Mrs. Shampoo's scissors went snippety snip all day long. One tea time, Mrs. Shampoo showed Hugh an extremely exciting letter. Dear Team Shampoo, she read, you are in the final of the scissor showdown. We made it, cheered Mr. Shampoo. Now we just need someone to model our wonderful winning styles. Hugh longed to be part of Team Shampoo, but not if it meant having his hair washed. So whose hair could the shampoos use? Of course, Mrs. Tree from next door. Just imagine all the ways they could tease and twirl. Mrs. Tree's hair, the shampoos could not lose. The next day, Mr. and Mrs. Shampoo collected bottles and brushes, combs and curlers, teacups and towels, and everything they needed for the scissor showdown. Mrs. Tree, we'll meet you in the town hall at three, they said. And off they went, leaving grubby-haired Hugh to help Mr. Tree trim the hedge. But later, just as Mrs. Tree was about to leave for the scissor showdown, there was a scream. Mr. Tree, she shrieked. My hair, it's gone, all chopped off. What a disaster! Run, Hugh, tell Team Shampoo, all is lost. So Hugh ran. He blasted past rose bushes. He parted long grass like a comb through clean hair. His legs flew as fast as snippety snipping scissors. He ran full tilt, as if blown by a hundred hair dryers. But when Hugh reached the town hall, he thought he was too late. The judge began to speak. And the winner of the scissor showdown is... Team Shampoo! For their spectacular show-stopping styling of Hugh Shampoo! That night, Hugh went to bed with the winner's cup. But he also went to bed with the roses, the grass, the butterflies, the kite strings, the itchy leaves, the sticky bubble gum, the wriggling worms and the slimy snails. Ah, yuck! cried Hugh. I need shampoo! For his mum and dad, it was a dream come true. They washed, they brushed, they combed, they snipped and they hugged their very own Hugh Shampoo.